Hello everyone, it's Julian here from Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to install the VIA version plugin on your Minecraft server. This plugin allows players to use different versions of Minecraft on your server. Let's say for example your server is running on version 1.19, meaning that only those players using version 1.19 can play on your server. Instead using VIA version, any player can access the server. Using this graph, it is possible to check which version our player is allowed to use, depending on the server version. In this case, our server is running 1.19, meaning that using this plugin, players using versions from 1.7 to 1.20 will be able to join and play. It is important to mention that to be able to play with older versions, in this case from 1.7 to 1.19, we will need to install two additional plugins called VIA Backwards and VIA Rewind. Without further ado, let's install it. First, let's head over to the Spigot MC page. The link is in the description. Then, click on the Download Now button. It should start downloading a jar file, which is the latest version of the plugin and the one we recommend. We will repeat this step with both VIA Backwards and VIA Rewind. I will be using Server Pro for this tutorial, but all this is possible and very similar on a self-hosted Minecraft server. To start with, we will need to create a new service in the Server Pro dashboard. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will use Spigot. However, you can use both bucket or paper. We will set the version to 1.19.4 so that players using versions from 1.7 to 1.20 can join. Once the server is set up, go to the Files section and click on the Plugins folder. Finally, drag and drop the three files we just downloaded into the Plugins folder and restart the server by going back to the dashboard and clicking Restart. If you plan to use other plugins on the same server, don't worry, all of them should work together without any errors. Once the server is restarted, we should see that the plugin was successfully installed and a done message should appear in the console. With that done, let's move on to configuring the plugin. To configure this plugin, we must go to the Files section, click on the Plugins folder, and then click on the folder named VIA version. Inside this folder, you will find a file called config.iml that you can edit to configure the plugin. Certain settings are very useful, for example, you can limit the versions that can access the server using the option called Block Versions. Inside the square brackets, you can write which versions you do not want to access the server. For example, you can set that versions lower than 1.14 cannot access the server. You can also enable the hologram patch because in some old versions, the holograms look higher than they should. So enabling this option can help to eliminate that problem. Remember that all settings have a comment above, so you can check each one to make sure whether or not you need to modify the default value. Once you have configured everything, save the file and restart the server for it to take effect. First, I'm going to join the server using version 1.19 which is the same as the Minecraft server, and everything works as intended. Now if I try to use an older version such as 1.15 I can join and play as if the server was made for that version. However, as we configured the plugin to deny 1.14 and older versions, I cannot access the server if I am running 1.13. If my server is 1.18, can 1.20 players join? Yes, they can join, however, since 1.20 introduces new blocks, animals and things to the game their game experience may be affected. Should I always use the latest server version with this plugin? That's completely up to you. My recommendation is to use an older version, such as 1.19, so that it has backwards compatibility with older versions while keeping new features that the version offers. How do I use VIA version with Bungie Cord? Just install the plugin on the plugins folder and restart your Bungie Cord server. Be sure to install this plugin on all your Bungie Cord servers if you have more than one. I don't see the VIA version folder after installing it. What do I do? Don't worry. You probably forgot to restart the server, just go back to the dashboard and hit restart. I don't see the plugins folder. Your server version probably doesn't support plugins. In that case, you will have to reinstall the server using spigot, bucket or paper. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to see more from our channel. If you have any further questions or problems, don't hesitate to contact us. We will leave a link in the description. Thank you for watching.